you know, I'm excited by change. I'm constantly on the lookout for signs of change. And that's what cusp means to me, to be on the edge of change. I think the purpose of design is to excite us, to inform us, to enable us to work with the environment and to work with other humans and other species in a better way. So to give you an idea as to how my world works, um, I spend half of my time in a very introverted space, so by myself, drawing, reading um, in my studio, in, in my own in my imagination. And the other part of my world is working with people, so working with engineers and scientists, making things, building things, designing things on paper, digging holes in the ground, and it's about people and it's about real outcomes. My exhibit is part outrageous fantasy and it's part real on the ground projects that are happening now. What I want to do is excite people about possibilities and to surprise people with ludicrous ideas that are just around the corner and that get them thinking about some of the incredible things going on in our world today which are just as mad if not more ludicrous than the types of fantastical ideas that I'm drawing. The processes for my sustainability design projects are quite different to my narrative projects. So the narrative projects will just begin somewhere, something I've read, um, you know, an article I've read, a conversation I've had with a friend, a lecture I've been to, I'll have an idea, I'll have a, um, the beginnings of a thought experiment will emerge. So for example, you know, reforesting the world, how much carbon can you store in, in a forest that covers the whole world? Can you build a multi-storey forest? how much carbon is held in different types of forests. So it's a very organic and sort of fluid process. A design project is usually quite different. Um, usually with a design project, you're starting with some kind of need. So you've usually got some parameters in place and you've identified that um, there's a problem here. And usually you sort of know roughly where you're going to, um, but you don't quite know what you're going to end up with. So yeah, quite different processes. I suppose the things that I'm interested in are a little unusual. The fact that I somehow span, you know, the worlds of engineering and biology and urban food production and, and then through to storytelling and visual projects, I suppose that means that I um, have a little bit of an unusual position in the scheme of things. But I suppose I like, I like dark humour. I like, I like going to some pretty dark places with my drawings and my ideas and I like to be provocative with the types of ideas that I'm exploring. So basically you've got a, some sort of weird fusion of an extremely earnest person on sort of one side who's trying to develop ideas to, to better the world and then someone who also likes to draw some really messed up things and you know bring them together and, and, and maybe that's you get the type of work that I'm producing for this exhibition. My real passion is for massive and, and large-scale transformation so I'm really interested in ideas that excite people and that show that change and, and positive change is possible and not only that it's possible, but it's incredibly exciting because, you know, we have the entire world to change in our lifetime, so it's pretty exciting, you know, the, uh, there's, a, there's a whole lot to do. So moving into the next decade, the world that I would like to see is a world where we have universal education globally and where everybody and where a, a significant part of that education is helping people to understand their place in the ecologies that surround us in this world and to have a good understanding of how the decisions that they make affect this ecology. So I see that everyone needs to be an ecological designer, basically. And of course, accompanying that, I see a world of zero waste, zero emissions, biological machines, such as the types of things that we're drawing, where outputs from one waste stream is actually not a waste stream, but an input for something else. Renewable energy, of course, and all of the other things that we all know about that will be part of a sustainable world.